Welcome to the Watchman News. My name is Mike Callahan. I wanted to do what's hopefully going to be a little video to explain what we do, why we do it, where we do it, and uh, help familiarize people to our new platforms because this is a platform update as well as just an informational video. So uh, we do things quite differently than most other channels. So uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's take things one by one and let's take a look at our website real quick. Since you can access everything we do right from our website, I figured it was probably the best place to go. So anyway, uh, what you see here is our homepage. Our homepage has got, believe it or not, a whole lot of stuff. I'll scroll down in a little bit. You know, you see the images sliding in front of you. Uh, that's just kind of giving people a quick glance at the different places we are, different things we do. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down a little bit. By the way, uh, that just slid out on the right-hand side there. Uh, we do have Facebook. We do have Twitter uh, on our website. We have uh, these little boxes that slide out that will uh, give you like our, our latest posts and stuff like that that we've made on Facebook. Uh, most of the time, it's uh, actually Twitter posts because everything that we tweet out goes on Facebook as well. But there are times that I will post stuff on Facebook directly uh, that doesn't make it on Twitter. So uh, speaking of Twitter, there's a slide out for Twitter and this is our latest tweets. So we're not super, super active on Twitter, uh, but I do post breaking news that comes from generally from Sputnik and RT. I, I utilize those uh, two news sources because I typically find that they're a little bit more accurate and cover information that our mainstream media stays far away from. So anyway, there are little slide out boxes there. I just kind of put those there to make it handy and easy for folks to uh, find information. I guess uh, we could actually start out at the top in our main menu. Of course, we've got a member menu. You can register here. That's where you'd also go to log into your account. Uh, speaking of login, uh, we'll go to the register page here real quick. You can use many different forms of social media to actually log in. Uh, Facebook, Google, uh, Twitter, Windows Live, YouTube, you can use all of those just to log right in and, and bypass everything else. Um, but we don't ask a lot of information. This is the only required information right here that we ask. Typical stuff, name, username, password, email, um, and then click the little CAPTCHA. If you want to uh, add other stuff, uh, we do have the other optional uh, things here. But we don't get too uh, we don't get too technical with any of it because we don't want that much personal information on anyone. That's uh, not what we are here for, and uh, that's why we kind of try and steer away from that. So that's a login page. Now we do have a a news uh, page. Now you can go into the news page if you go to daily article archives. What that will do, and I haven't updated this in a while. We have a newsletter too that also hasn't been updated in a while. And the reason why is because I haven't been doing so hot. Um, I'm suspecting that I have torn rotator cups in both my left and right shoulder. Uh, so it's been making it a bit rough sitting here at the news desk, uh, copying and pasting uh, tons of articles in because, boy, that I, uh, I posted a lot. Uh, typically between anywhere between 70 and 100 articles a day is, uh, is what I posted. And they were reposted from, uh, from a uh, republishing news website. So uh, it wasn't that I was actually creating these articles. I'll click on one just to give you an idea here. Uh, the seventh, obviously, was the last one that I had uh, had posted up, which has been quite a while. I will be getting back to that. In fact, when you come to the website the first time, you should have a pop-up come up to uh, sign up for the newsletter. If you want to sign up for the newsletter, then uh, then that's great. Then as soon as I get started, every uh, every morning in your inbox, you will get a newsletter. So, And that's what it will have. It will have all these different... Uh, links in it. Now, this is the uh, links that you would get in your newsletter, um, and I, I actually have this up here for ease of that, okay? However, it does break it down into categories. So, for instance, let's go to War and Conflict, and you will see it's the only place you'll ever see ads on our site, okay? I do use Adblock Plus, so you won't see the ads. You'll just see blank spaces, 
the only place you'll ever see ads, and, and the reason why is because it is republished news, okay? So I'm simply copying a link and putting it into an article, and it propagates the rest of the information here. So anyway, I'm not going to stay on it a whole lot, just letting you know, and uh, you can just read and read and read to your heart's content. Uh, there's absolutely a ton of pages um, and there's always, uh, I, I made sure that I turned on the date here so you know what date I published it. And I also leave the publishing date um, from the republished site on so that way you can see what date the actual article was posted. So um, I, I don't, one thing that I don't like is websites that you go to and they'll post an article and there won't be any date. You won't have any idea when, uh, when it happened or, or what happened. Um, you know, and it's, it's sad. It really is sad because there's a lot of articles that every once in a while they keep going around and keep going around. Um, and it's, it's sad because in, in a sense that can be misinformation sometimes. Okay. So, uh, we do, uh, that's our news section. We do have an Etsy store. No need to run there or do anything there right now. Uh, show archives. If you click the show archives, what that will do is that will take you to the page in which we have, uh, our, our live shows. Now, um, right now, uh, we are storing all of our archived shows on DTube, and I will get to that momentarily. We were using Facebook, but no longer. And you just simply, you click on a date, and uh, it will bring it up in the window here. And uh, you'll see it momentarily. It'll pop up. And uh, you, you have all the options to share and whatnot. Um, you can also, if you so choose... Uh, you can leave a, a comment. This uses you, uses the uh, Facebook comments plugin. So, uh, so of course, you'd have to be uh, logged into Facebook and have a Facebook account to even comment here. Um, however, that was probably about the easiest way I could figure to do it. Um, okay, resources. Now, this is uh, a lot of interesting stuff. We'll start off with Roundtable real quick. Roundtable, what that is, is that's simply what I call our Discord account. So you can actually, um, if you have a Discord account or if you don't, you can create one. It's super simple. You can use, uh, whether it be the Android iPhone app or you can use a, a PC desktop or a Mac um, or even a, a Linux um, application to be able to run it, or you can simply use your browser, your internet browser. So it's a great place for communication, um, and that's what we have set up. That's what we have it set up for, is communication, and uh, I urge folks, you know, and it's not just doing news time. I, I do monitor. Uh, I'm, I'm in there pretty much all the time, so I may not necessarily be able to respond if you come in and ask something, um, but I am around and I will do my best. So otherwise, when we have call-ins and stuff like that, this is going to play a huge role in that. We used to do call-in shows all the time. We are intending on getting back to doing some of those call-in shows. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, getting back going with that. So we got other stuff here too. U.S. documents, survival info, important info. Um, and I've got Vegas preliminary report, release the memo. This stuff changes from time to time. Um, our, our website, our YouTube channel, our now D Live channel and DTube and Steam it and all that, we do things a little bit differently than a lot of people I've ever seen. Uh, we are essentially a news outlet. Okay. We are a, I, I want to specify this. We are a nonpartisan news outlet. Okay. We don't pander to any political parties. We don't pander to any type of ideologies or anything like that. We, we stay far, far away from any of that. We do not use a herd mentality with what we do. And uh, we actually speak out against the herd mentality because, folks, once you accept that, once you accept a herd mentality, once you accept an ideology or a political affiliation, Okay, you automatically start to close your eyes and your ears when it comes to things that go against that belief, and you you automatically start believing things that aren't even true about the other ones. So that's important to remember. Uh, back to uh, we'll, we'll go to U.S. documents or we'll go to survival info. Why not? Why not? What it is is our website has a bunch of PDFs and stuff on it, and uh, I will be adding tons more. I have tons more to add. 
It's just a, uh, a matter of time. Um, so we're just going to pick on one, uh, USMC Survival Guides. Uh, you go into that, that will take you to another category list. I've only got three of those particular ones for the time being. And you just click on one, and what that will do is load you up into another page that will actually load up into a PDF viewer. This PDF viewer will let you do whatever you need to do, download, print, uh, whatever you need to do, it, it will let you do. Plus, you can share the article out um, amongst anybody else too through all the different platforms there. And uh, I just figured it was a nice, uh, nice thing to add. That way, I can spread information, spread knowledge, and all that. Like I was saying, we do things a little bit differently. It's not just news; it's also survival. It's prepping. Um, we pretty much we're open to about anything for discussion as long as it's something involving either news or helping individuals or, or whatever. We're pretty much open. That's kind of the idea behind it because there's a whole lot of different channels and a, a whole lot of different websites and, and they do one particular thing. They might just do news or they might just do survival or just do prep, uh, prepping. But I don't see a whole lot that puts it all together. Okay, and I think that is really critical, especially in these times. So, okay, um, that covers that part of it. Let's go ahead and go back to our home page here. And uh, I'm pretty much done with the website. Now I'll give you the updates on our platforms and all that stuff. So, um, of course, if you do like to donate, we don't, uh, you know, we don't require, we don't have Patreon or anything like that. We definitely uh, don't make much money off of YouTube. Uh, and we're just kind of getting started over on the Steemit, DLive, DTube area. Uh, we've had our account for DTube and Steemit for a little while. But we do live broadcasts. And they didn't have the capability of, of hosting live content uh, when I set up the account. And that is what we do. I don't do a whole lot of standalone videos. And I don't write articles and stuff like that. So uh, it, it was uh, we were kind of putting our placeholder in there and waiting. And uh, we were very pleased to see that they now have a live platform that they support. So anyway, I just added these buttons here. Uh, to Also, to get to our Discord, you can click here or Steam it here. DLive, DTube, YouTube. Uh, all of it's right there. Um, here we have what I call the live or latest module. Um, this will display either the latest show or what's live. So depending on uh, depending on which one it is, that will display here. Uh, right here is just a, a module, and it what it does is uh, it slides over. It's got the latest ten shows, I do believe. They're the same as the uh, links that are in the show archives, except there's only ten. That, uh, that it cycles through here, unlike the menu option up top. So, uh, let's see. And let me real quick cover these. If you are a member of our website, uh, we have something called the TWN Wall. It's kind of similar to, it, it's fake Facebook-ish, okay? It's kind of a social media type of platform where people can um, communicate with each other publicly. Uh, and when I say publicly, I mean communicate with each other on the website publicly. Um, if you don't have an account, uh, you can't post there, and therefore you probably won't see any links there or anything like that. Uh, you have to be logged in to be able to participate with that. The message center, it is what it sounds like. Um, you can message other people, other members of the website through an uh, internal messaging system, and uh, it uses Uttle IM for anybody that's familiar with that. Uh, member menu, again, that's probably common sense there. Log in, log out, profile, registration, all that good stuff. So um, we do at the bottom, we have our, our Twitter link, we have our Facebook link, our Etsy link, uh, and I will be adding the other links there too. I need to update our Font Awesome uh, script so that I can add. I know Discord is on Font Awesome now, and, uh, and, and I need to do that. So anyway, I wanted to kind of show you around the website. Now, what it is... That we do is we take news from multiple places not just news I, I shouldn't just limit it to that but videos about news and survival and uh, anything like that and, and we rebroadcast that during our live show uh, I will often speak about things I will often uh, try to clarify things or I will throw in my thoughts about different things based upon my research and uh, and the idea is is try to help people learn as much as possible 
uh, in all of these areas. So that is the intent. Now, a lot of people say, well, you don't play on your on your show. You don't play your own live content. You don't make a bunch of your own videos. No, that's not what we do. I guess you could call me something similar to a video jockey. Okay, I'm not a journalist. I am not uh, even a news anchor, so to speak. Uh, I'm somebody that's trying to pull all the pieces of the puzzle together, fit them together so that we can all see the big picture uh, as, as accurately as possible. That, that is our intent. That is our goal. Okay, we don't do this for money. We don't do this for notoriety. Uh, I don't make the show about me because news isn't me. I hope I'm not on the news. That The plan is for me never to be on the news, right? So you'll see a lot of a different attitude when we go about this show. We don't do all kinds of crazy flashy stuff. We don't have all kinds of crazy sound effects and all that good stuff. Uh, we just bring you straightforward, honest information. Again, we don't pander to ideologies or political parties or, or anything like that. We, we stay clear of that kind of stuff because often the more you get involved in those things, the further from the truth you get. So we, um, we, we stay as far away from that as possible. Now, uh, we, just, we just started broadcasting live on DLive. Our broadcasts are 4 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday, okay? And we were broadcasting our, we broadcast two streams because I do both streams straight from, from my, my machine here. And, uh, and we were broadcasting YouTube and we were broadcasting on Facebook. Well, I wanted to w get away from Facebook for, I'm sure, the same reasons everybody's very familiar with. Uh, pretty much the same reasons why we need to make sure that we have backup for YouTube, okay? And so it was because of, of uh, knowing that DLive uh, existed, we started throwing our second stream out to Facebook because it's only a matter, I mean, to DLive, I'm sorry, because it's only a matter of time before Facebook shuts us down, just like it's only a matter of time before YouTube shuts us down. So as you see here, uh, under, under this stuff, I even explain that. I said uh, under DLive, I say DLive is now where our secondary stream is. It will become our primary stream if slash more likely when the YouTube Nazis award us with a ban. Uh, under under DTube, I said uh, DTube is where we will be storing our show archives. It uses blockchain so we won't have to be worried about our content being Arkansided. Little Hillary joke there. And uh, and YouTube, you know, YouTube is still our primary platform for now. That could change any day. If our channel disappears, check the other platforms. So uh, we're doing everything we can to be ready and to be prepared. Uh, our idea is on staying with YouTube for the time being is because there's a lot of people there. There's a whole lot of people there. And whether that's to help raise awareness for what we do and our channel and our show, um, or whether it's to help be a bridge over to Steemit and DLive and DTube, uh, that works as well. So uh, we won't, we're not going to be one of those that are saying, oh, you know, I got demonetized or I got this or I got that. Um, we, I'm not that way. I, I, I'm, I'm not a drama type of person, so you're not going to see me play those kind of games. <laughs> so anyway, the thing was with YouTube is if you get a, a content strike or if you get a copyright strike, uh, your, your live streaming is done. You are just, you're done. Um, you have to wait for however long it is, six months or whatever it is, before you can even go back live again. Well, that's what we do. We do a live show. So that would really throw a wrench in what we do. So that's the main reason I wanted a backup stream so that if YouTube would do that to us, we, we don't skip a beat. We don't miss nothing. We just keep continuing on. And the, and the beauty of that is, is everybody there on YouTube, if you go to YouTube and either see our channels gone or you hear, you know, or you don't hear me come live at, at, at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, that's Central Standard Time, then check the website. OK, see if you see a live stream right here on the home page. If you don't, I would say check D live or steam it. OK, uh, I will typically try to let folks know whether or not uh, we're going to be able to be uh you know, or that we won't be able to be live. Normally, we're, we're pretty consistent. We're pretty steady. We don't miss very much at all. So, um, again, that's, that, that's an eventuality that probably only YouTube will cause. So, the website's a good place. It's thewatchmannews.com. Make sure you bookmark it. Um, you can always kind of keep up with what's going on there. 
And I hope to see lots of new people during the live shows. And like I say, there, there's some content you'll like. There's some content you'll hate. It's the way it is. And the, go, the same goes with my viewpoints. Don't expect to, uh, don't expect to uh, join us and agree with everything just, just as don't expect to join us and disagree with everything. I don't let people box me in. Again, I don't, I don't deal with ideologies and boxes and, and, and political junk. You know, I, I just tell the truth. And the truth, like I said, is pretty far away from any of the ideologies and, and the parties and, and all that stuff. So it's something different. It's something refreshing. Uh, if I say something you don't like, stick around. A couple of minutes, I'll say something you like, vice versa. You know, uh, I see a lot of people that join up. And uh, because they like something I have to say, and I'll say one thing that they didn't like, and oh no, we can't, you know, that's where that ideology problem comes from that I was telling you we stay far away from and why we stay far away from it. So anyway, I'm going to wrap that up. I think that's pretty good, a pretty good explanation of what we do. And uh, I hope to see you all soon. Hope everybody has a good day. As always, we love you all. God bless you all and be one with your spirit.